It's May 20 something, Wednesday, and I'm crushing type 1 diabetes. Headed to Dinosaurs for a 75 carb lunch. Uh, just did my pre bolus about 10 minutes ago. BG was 130, so hoping to time this, time this right and not have a rise. Let's see how we do. Today I'm going to talk about how to install a new OS on an Intel Edison by flashing it on. If you buy your Edison from Amazon or something else, it very often has a very old OS version of Yocto. Some people are flashing a new version of Yocto on, but I'm going with UB Linux. That's what I've used on all of my Edisons. So this is how you do it. Search Google for mmeow link and then go ahead and click on this first GitHub link right here. Once there, scroll down and click on over to the wiki. And on the pages on the right, you want to go to prepare the Edison for OpenAPS. Now there's a bunch of instructions here, so just follow all that set up. But we're going to go through the actual flashing because it's easy to sort of get stuck in this part. So at this point, you've set up your Pi, which is what you're going to flash from, with the file and everything you need to get ready to go. So you've got your, your gzip file of the OS, and this is the steps from there. First thing, you can see my Pi is hard connected, not to a battery, but an external power supply um, that's going to give us a lot of power. A battery may not work, even if you think it's powering your Pi. It seems to need a little bit of extra oomph. The second thing I do is I use a USB cable, and I actually plug in here a powered USB port hub. And I got two data carrying cables. Make sure that these carry data and not just power, because that will screw you up. And then I have one plugged into the console port and one plugged into the OTG port. Now, if you're using a green Intel board, there's two ports. You can just plug them in. Either one doesn't matter. They do matter, but we're going to touch both of them via software. And they're both plugged into the same powered USB hub anyways. So we're, we got that going. Crap, I just got a high blood glucose alert. I guess that lunch um, was a lot of carbs. Next thing, I got two tabs specifically connected to my Pi because we're going to need two windows here. One of them, I'm going to do a pseudo screen just as it's listed here. This is going to give me visibility into what's going on on the Edison. Now, once you hit enter, sometimes you actually have to press return a few times before it starts showing data. Otherwise, you may think, hey, it's not working. Now we're connected to, to the Edison, and you can see it's got an old version of Yocto on here. I'm not going to log in right now. I'm going to go to my other window. Actually, Elide, I'm going to stay on here. I'm going to log in with Edison and no password. That's the default. When it asks me to reboot, I'm actually going to go back to this window and do a run a reboot command. Now I'm going to go to the second window. Once I unzipped everything I had downloaded for the OS, you'll see that there's this flash all, and that's what we're going to run. So it's telling me to plug and reboot the device back to the other window. Back to our window that's screened in to the Edison, I'm going to SU to get into the super user, and then I'm going to restart with a shutdown minus R. Now one thing that happens here is I lose my screen connection because it rebooted, so I'm going to have to connect back up. Meanwhile, back on the screen after I rebooted, you can see it starts to download and then it flashes. See how it says it can take up to 10 minutes? That's actually wrong. You're going to have to be patient. It'll probably be a lot longer than that. It is 3.48 p.m. when I started. I'll tell you what it is when it's done. I am 14 minutes in and you can see there's nothing here. Eventually at the bottom, there'll start to be a, a little counter that goes across. So we're not even to that point yet. So I've lost my connection to my Pi from my laptop, so not sure what to do now, to be honest. I actually got to leave now, so I think what I'm going to do is hoping it's still flashing on the Pi. I'm just not connected to the Pi. So when I get home later, I'll check and see if it uh, finished on its own. What I'm going to do is try to connect to the Edison directly. And if it loads with the new OS, then I'll be good. Otherwise, I will be repeating this. All right, so I'm gonna try to flash this again. Let's give it a try. I gotta run a special command as well, so 
pay attention. And it is reflashing, so let's see how we go. So what I did was I unplugged everything, I plugged it back in, and then using the console cable with my screen connection, I hit enter a few times, which sort of stopped it during boot mode, and then I ran that command. So I started the flash all, I went back to the console and ran run do underscore OTA, and that let it kick, go, kick off. But look at this. That's that's my powered USB unplugged. The lithium batteries have typically only lasted a week when I've been pulling the history and all that stuff using um, using the Pi Bay setup. So I've been running around today, but it did flash. I don't know how long it took, but I think it took a very long time. Be sure not to give up on it. As long as your connection doesn't drop, um, let it go for a long, long time, maybe 45 minutes or so. <laughs> not going to cut out that it, you know, that it was troublesome. So it, it sometimes takes a little bit of effort, but that's how I got it to work. That Edison I just flashed, I'm going to send out to Paul Martin, who's one of the guys uh, working on OpenAPS. So hooking him up.